We're back in the H1 Hummer today. In this video, we're gonna go from this old school, busted, clunky, 1990s, early 2000s mirror to this one. Which one do you like better? And this one has the home link buttons right up here. One, two, three for garage doors and gates. Today, we're gonna install a brand new frameless home link mirror on the H1 Hummer. Let's see what you got there, Aiden. That's frameless with garage door opener buttons on it on the H1 Hummer. And super simple. It's got a lifetime battery in there. I don't know what lifetime is, so there's no wiring involved. All you do is put it on the wedge and then program your buttons and that's it. And uh, I did not want the auto dimming mirrors. They have one just like this that's auto dimming, but I prefer the little tab, the old school tab. Uh, I've had too many problems with auto dimming mirrors in the past, so I prefer the manual one. But the frameless look, very nice. Garage door up buttons, very nice. Definitely a good way to update the interior of this 2004 H1. First thing you need to do is find yourself a Torx that's about that size. That's what you'll need to install this thing and make sure it stays firmly in place. I've already got the old mirror off. Uh, but the old mirror has a similar Torx screw on the base of it and uh, you undo that and it'll allow the old mirror to come off and it's got a wiring pigtail that uh, I removed when I had the headliner and everything off so there's no wiring hanging out there. The old wiring's still there underneath that section and then uh, in the dash in case anybody ever wants to install a factory mirror again. But this is the way I'm going and I think it's gonna look great. 1990s, early 2000s mirror to this one. Which one do you like better? This one is the factory one that has the auto dimming feature. It shows a temperature, north, south, east, west. I don't really care about the temp and the direction. And this one has the home link buttons right up here. One, two, three for garage doors and gates. And for dimming, it's just the regular tab right there. So let's see how we're gonna get this new one on. I ran into the first problem. So normally this mirror would go this way. Tab at the bottom, buttons at the bottom but because we've got a perfectly flat windshield in our Hummer, when I put it on there, even at the uh, maximum angle, it's not quite pointing down enough to see correctly out of the back. So what I did is just rotate the shaft and I'm gonna install it this direction. Tab at the top, buttons at the top, not perfectly ideal, but hey, gotta compromise. This still looks pretty darn good and the buttons are plenty accessible right there at the top. Just got to reach uh, three or four more inches over to the right, which is still within reach of the driver's seat. And I can easily still access the top. So rotate the bottom uh, mount to where it's pointing with the uh, torque screw down. Then take it and slide it over the wedge. Make sure it's all the way down. That's it, just like that. And I'm gonna tighten up gently that torque screw. You don't wanna over tighten it. It's just there to hold things in place. It's not uh, load bearing. And then we'll go through and actually, uh, oh man, that looks really good. And then we'll go through and I'm gonna program the buttons here. I don't think you guys need a, a instructional video on how to program home link buttons. So you can figure that piece out. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, and there's my monkey. That's popsicle. What is that, an ice cream cone? What do you have it, Aiden? What? Ice cream? So there's the mirror, that's what it looks like. That looks a million times better than the old one. No problem with the tabs at the top and I can still easily, without even really leaning forward, I can reach those three buttons. That's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna get that screw on and let's make sure this thing's firmly in place. There it is, nice and firm. Uh, later on, I got to remove this whenever I get around to replacing this windshield. I've got the new windshield sitting in the garage to replace this cracked one. Uh, one of the other Hummer community members sent me a link to one that was for sale. These are hard to find. These are the heated windshields that came optional on some of the years. This truck, this 04, has those heated windshields. Let's get this sticker off and see what this bad boy looks like. Man, that looks so much more updated instead of that old school GM mirror. 
that came in all the GM vehicles with that big, thick plastic surround. This looks great. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm gonna put a link down in the description to the exact one I have. There's several different ones made by, I think it's Gentex uh, or at Van something or other, the, the company that used to make these, or one bought the other company, I don't know which one. But anyway, I'll, I'll put the exact uh, link to the one I purchased in the description below. Um, they sell them on Amazon, eBay, fairly inexpensively. I think they're a couple hundred bucks, and sometimes they go and sell for less, or you can find them used sometimes too. Um, I've seen them on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, etc. Come up used every now and then. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna program these buttons. That way I can get rid of this guy and I don't have to carry it anymore. So that's it. Uh, keep your remote handy with you. Look up uh, instructions on Google on how to program a home link mirror. And it's pretty much the same across the board on every vehicle. You hold the two outside buttons, I think, to reset it and then do something and something. And you, you need your old remote to get it all programmed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Love you guys. See you next time. Goodbye, Aiden. <laughs> what is that? <laughs>